Meet characters, weapons and monsters in Metro Exodus. Characters Anna Melnick's daughter and wife Artem. Anna is your advisor, she will also assist in the performance of tasks away from Aurora. She is considered the best sniper among Spartan Rangers, so you cannot worry about the rear when she covers you. Anna is famous for her inflexible spirit, but she still believes in kindness, reconciliation and forgiveness and will encourage you to find a peaceful solution, if possible. Artem Artem was born in Moscow a few years before the start of a nuclear war and lived in the metro all his life, repeatedly risking it to protect his house. He is obsessed with finding life outside the metro tunnels and regularly surfaced with a radio station, trying to connect with the outside world. He is really determined to prove that there is life outside the metro. Miller Colonel Melnick lost his legs in the battle for the D6, but that does not stop him. Now he has new metal legs, he is still stubborn, and he commands the Aurora. He was always a military man, and therefore he is rational, calculating and even severe. Success in fulfilling the task for him is always in the first place, but he does his best to take care of the Spartans, whom, along with Anna, he considers his family. Ermac In the past life Ermac was a metro driver. He is one of the few underground workers who survived the war. When it comes to the Aurora, Yermak knows absolutely everything, from the complex mechanisms of the steam engine to the smallest screw. He will work tirelessly for the old woman to be on the go and make sure that you arrive at your destination. You cannot doubt it. The Prince The Prince is one of the youngest fighters aboard the Aurora. He has only recently become a Ranger Scout and is ready to go on any mission. He is always called upon to volunteer, despite the danger. He constantly tests himself and is inclined to take risks in order to complete the task. For the prince, this journey is the perfect way to test your skills. Tokarev Do you need a good technician? Refer to Tokarev. All the Spartan rangers know him well. It is he who makes weapons for them and modifies them. This man is hopelessly in love with his job and he spends most of his time in the Aurora workshop, working on equipment and weapons. If he is not passionate about his new project, he can tell you different stories for hours. Naturally, about weapons. Al Shaw Alan Shaw joined the Spartans in search of new adventures, having served for several of years in the Polis Rangers. He is an experienced intelligence officer, as well as an expert of the Order of Survival in the ruins of Moscow. He is delighted with the whole journey on the Aurora and believes that this great adventure is perfect for him. Weapon Bulldog This machine noticeably surpasses the Colossian firepower, convenience, accuracy, due to the lower rate of fire it provides the ability to accurately hit targets and lines. And yet, despite all this, the Bulldog is found infrequently. It is much more complicated than a Kalosh, and requires quality service. Not surprisingly, most of the survivors in the New World prefer to use his elder brother, Unkillable Kalosh. Valve. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer? The idea is correct, but nobody has cancelled the need to precisely send a piece of lead within a few hundred meters. However, after a nuclear war, pre-war sniper rifles, and even in working condition, are extremely rare. Fortunately, the accuracy of the self-made valve is enough, and the power of the old rifle cartridge is enough to cope with the majority of improvised body armor. Bastard. Do you have a piece of pipe of a suitable diameter, a meat bucket, a rusty anvil and pliers? Great, in a couple of days you will be able to water your enemies with lead rain from Bastard. This is a popular weapon among the residents of the Moscow Metro, and part-time the nightmare of the gunsmith, having been in the hands of Tokarev, began to work more or less. Will he jam it? Of course. But the number of bullets that the Bastard has time to release before, is more than enough for almost any opponent. Killer A thief is a shotgun turned into something different, much more frightening and deadly for everyone he targets. A robber is an automatic shotgun, in the design of which reliability, simplicity and common sense were sacrificed for the sake of firepower, so that it requires constant attention of the gunsmith. But on the basis of the effects on the enemy, 
It can be compared to a cross between a meat grinder and a lawnmower. Helsing The perfect weapon in a situation where secrecy is needed. By being careful, you can clear the whole area with one arrow and not raise the alarm. And if firepower is more important to you than stealth, you can switch to explosive arrows at any time. Ash it. The charge of grape shot will make even the most stubborn and evil mutants think about their actions. This shotgun has a huge amount of modifications. One barrel can be replaced with a block of several, up to four, but this is only the beginning. You can choose from a huge number of muzzle nozzles, butts, recoil compensators and sights. Galosh Galosh, one of the few still widely used models of pre-war weapons, managed to take part in armed conflicts around the world and become famous for its unsurpassed reliability and firepower. The standard Galosh itself is already a reliable assault rifle, but thanks to the Togra EV, the Spartan version can be hung with a bunch of different devices, from high capacity stores to various sites. This weapon can be modified more seriously by turning it, for example, into a submachine gun or light machine gun. Tetra Chesh, created because of the constant shortage of ammunition, has become an indispensable weapon for Spartan Rangers. He not only shoots the omnipresent balls from the bearings, but also almost silent. The design involves a high-pressure pneumatic system, which allows, if necessary, to fire and incendiary bullets. The main thing, do not forget to monitor the air pressure in the tank. Revolver This is a classic weapon produced in the Metro, where ammunition was quite rare, and the rate of reloading did not matter much has enough destructive power to put the mutant in place with one accurate shot. Built on the basis of the noggin system with its mechanism of obturation, the revolver can be equipped with a silencer and other body kit, such as a butt or various sights. Monsters Guards School hunters in the wastelands of Russia. Guards with their twisted joints, scary claws and yellow teeth are the most common inhabitants of post-apocalyptic Russia. These ferocious mutants gather in flocks and can wait for you on the street or in the tunnel. A single guard is not particularly dangerous for a trained Spartan, but their sentries will immediately call for reinforcement if you don't finish them quickly and quietly. Beast Dreadful creatures descended from humans. At first glance, they resemble people. However, as soon as you get closer, you will encounter dangerous aggressive creatures that immediately attack you. Usually they gather in flocks and settle in dark places and in abandoned buildings. With their habits, they resemble monkeys and often use various fragments as primitive weapons. Stay at a distance from them and kill them without excessive noise, so that the whole pack does not pounce on you at the same time. Demon Predator at the top of the food chain Residents of the metro are well aware that demons, huge winged creatures, are among the most deadly creatures in this world. They resemble huge birds of prey, hunt alone and are able to lift any prey in the air. If you notice a demon, better stay away from him, carefully choose the road and do not leave the shelter so that he does not grab you. Shrimp Mysterious Aquatic Creatures Shrimps are mutated crustaceans, protected by strong armor, which live near water and extremely aggressively protect their territories. Females of this species usually live in water and prefer to stick together. When threatened, they attack from a distance, they spit at the target with biting mucus to immobilize it. Males prefer to live separately. Their front limbs are protected by additional strong plates, and they can deliver sensitive blows and defend themselves as shields. To defeat such an opponent, you need to accurately select the time to attack. Wolves School hunters in search of dinner Not all animals on the surfaces have mutated, but... Unfortunately, in this case they are already quite dangerous. Wolves, fierce territorial predators, pose a serious danger. Even a lone wolf can cause a lot of trouble if it is not quickly destroyed. However, in essence, wolves are gregarious animals, and from fighting with a flock to get out unscathed, you can only without losing self-control and shooting without a miss. No Zuck. It can usually be found both on the ground and under the ground. Nozick is a mobile, aggressive mutant, able to travel a great distance with surprising speed. They often run around the walls to get to their prey and kill it. 
Nozachi prefer to live in abandoned underground structures and dilapidated buildings. They rarely leave their territory and fiercely protect their nests. Lonely Nozick kill quite simple, but in large quantities they represent an almost irresistible force. Gitkamaura Scavengers feeding on the fallen. Gitkamuri, shy creatures, most of the time wandering around the surface in search of the fallen. They try not to engage in combat and often run away at the first signs of danger. They can only attack a whole bunch, or if they provoke them. If you are going to hunt for them, you will need a good reaction, Gitkamuri often make lightning attacks, and then hide in shelters to prepare for a new attack.